Well, we're on the River Sarawi, and we're hunting for bottles. This is a lovely, serene place to stay and enjoy the sounds of the river. But Phil thinks he's found the remains of a bottle dump, so I can't wait. I'm going. I'm getting closer to Phil, but I've seen some things here that I have to look at. Half of a cup, that's pretty. And here's a bottle. Is it old? Hmm. Sorry, Murphy's and Sons. Oh, that look could be quite old. Yes, I found a bottle. What's on your bottle? I'm not sure. It's brown on brown, see? Oh, that's very faded, isn't it? It's, it's raised, it's that sort of... Oh, boy. I found a pair of glasses in the river. Oh, yeah, they're your glasses. I know. I just fell out my pocket. Hope you don't trust me with the keys, dear. Does that say Butlins? No, I don't think so. Look, I got my glasses on. Milk Mitchells. I think Mitch it's Mitchell's. Mitchell's on the one side, and I think it's Butler's on the other. Butler's. Oh, Butler's, there we go, I thought. Butler's Limited. Butler's. No, no, Buckley's have you heard of as a beer. Mitchell's and Butler's Limited. Oh, that's nice. Because we can look at it. That's got to be a, a brewery somewhere. Very there you nice. Go. Nice job. I found half a brick. But it's the wrong half for me to work out where it comes from. O N and Co. If anybody out there would like to take a guess, could be London and Co, but if you'd like to take a guess and let me know, that'd be great. But more than bricks, bottles. Ooh. Oops. Drop me brick over there. Come and have a look there. Oh, look here before you do. There's something there. It's part of an old shell. Oh, it's just going to wash them out. Very fragile. Look at that. That must have been gorgeous when it was whole. But it's not anymore. What a shame. Pretty. No. At first, I wasn't excited by the broken glass. Mm -hmm. But in your look, I saw that. Ooh, a bottle stopper. No. That tells me that these possibly are not 1980s, 90s, 90s bottles. Let's have a look. Now, what has Phil seen? A little bit of excitement here. There's a bottle poking his nose out, saying, Pick me, pick me. Just come to wash. Oh, I don't think there's anything written on this one. That's a shame. All right, that's got a screw top and nothing written on it, so it's not very old and not very exciting. Let's see what else is here. There's an old neck of a bottle here, but with the stopper in. Give it a swill. There's nothing written on the stopper. Very nice though. Ooh, what you got? A jar. Oh, does it say anything on the jar? Mm -hmm. No, nothing written on it. It's, it's not a screw top. It's nice though. Yeah. I like that. And it's whole. Mm. Which in this particular dump is a rarity. Yes, because anything that's hanging out is broken. And what do you think this is? It's a shipping's paste box. It looks like. Now there's a blast from the past. Jar of Brill Creek. I was actually with a family the other day and they said that their brother always used Brill Cream and if they didn't have Brill Cream, he'd use lard or butter. I think Brill Cream was probably a better choice. And now one shiny clean Brill Cream jar. Well it's a lot easier to get compacted mud and rocks out of a jar with a little stick in the flowing water than there is to do in the sink back room. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. That's my tip for today, folks. Use the river to clean your jars because they don't make so much mess. And any little creatures living in the jar then gets to live another day because if we take right. them home, they could die. They're all free now to enjoy the Sarawi River. Can you see what I can see? I'm pretty sure I can see a bottle. I no, can't get it out, I have to use my hand. Oh. oh yes, it's a bottle. Can't get it out. Ooh, it's a bit grubby. 
it's nice. Look, can you see the curve on it? What did you see? Oh, gosh. man with the glasses. Man with the glasses. I've got a clue. Um, IL and Coal Limited. Let this carry on looking, and I've seen a handle. There you go. That must have been off a junk. Just going to turn my camera on and say I reckon that in all this silt here there could be bottles that are actually buried because they're falling from up there and they're getting covered and as I bent down look what I found it's a bottle and it's whole oh there's nothing written on it but it's old it's lovely though that's definitely coming home with me. I've been having a look at that and it's definitely uh, either IL or JL and Co. And the bottom bit isn't a name, it's 502 and then some letters. 5 so, Ah, it could be. Could be, that's five a possibility. Ounce. Yeah, possibly. This is pretty, isn't it? This is a cup, I think. And there we have a shopping trolley. It wouldn't be a day out at the river if we didn't find a shopping trolley and a ball. Now there's a bottle there. The only problem is these have been there so long the roots have actually grown around some of these bottles. So although they're exposed, you can't actually get them. Let's move along and see if we can find any more. Very difficult because of all this prickly holly. Another bottle. And he's cool. No writing, but an interesting shape. And down here, it's another paste jar. We need a bit of a wash, I think. He's whole. I know we're excited because we found pretty pottery with nice words on and we mm -hmm. found beautiful bottles and of course I found bricks. But that's not white. Look at the colour on that. Isn't that gorgeous? No, isn't that lovely? Really deep blue. Yeah, just found well it on the bank for that. Like well, we found some beautiful bottles. It was not a disappointment. A big thank you for the person who commented and put us in this part of the world looking in this particular river because we've had great fun. Two bottles, two jars, I should say, of Brill Cream, small and large. They're from a time and place that's pretty much forgotten now. And of course, that lovely beer bottle. Hopefully, we can look up the maker of that and so many other interesting pieces of glass along the way. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. And if you did, then please give us a thumbs up. And if you could share this with your friends, then that would be fantastic. But until next time, I'll just say, bye for now.